Hello, welcome to lesson 59, Predicate Delegate, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the Predicate Delegate. Okay, a Predicate is also a Delegate like Funk and Action Delegate. The important thing about the Predicate Delegate is, it is always going to invoke a method or it represents a method that contains a set of criteria and checks whether the past parameter meets those criteria or not. Uh, to be in simple, this predicate delegate, uh, it's going to represent a method and that method, um, what it does, it, it checks whether the past parameter meets those criteria or not. That's, that's it about the predicate delegate and predicate delegate methods must take one input parameter and it's always going to return a boolean value. It means the output of a predicate delegate is always true or false. Okay, without wasting much time, let us jump into Visual Studio and we'll start coding. And before uh, writing code for a predicate delegate, let us uh, work on with a uh, normal custom delegate which returns the boolean value. Then we'll uh, see how to convert that custom um, a delegate of bool type to the predicate delegate. So let me create a custom delegate which will of return type bool uh, public the delegate keyword the return type is bool and the, its name is is upper okay, and it takes a parameter of string okay done Okay, I initialized a delegate of return type bool and it takes one parameter of string type. Let me create a method which matches that delegate signature. Right now, public uh, static, okay, and it's going to return bool and the method name is, is upper or let me make it as uppercase, okay and it takes a string parameter and this is having a return type of pool it has to return it so what this method is going to do what is the logic it's going to um, uh, happen in this method is it's going to compare the input string whether it is in the uppercase or not so what i have to do is i have to call this and i have to use the equal method and let me check whether the user entered string is in the uppercase or not. That's all this method is going to do and that's all the logic about this method. Now what I'll do using this delegate instance, delegate object, I'm going to initialize or in invoke a, a uppercase method. So let me is upper iu is equal to uh, uppercase. Okay. And iu have to pass the string. Let me pass all in the uppercase. Okay. And as you observe, this uppercase is of uh, type bool. And what I have to do is I have to store this thing in the uh, result in some bool variable. Let me initialize a variable. Um, the variable is upper. And let me print that variable such that we can see output. Upper. Now when I run this program, obviously it should print true. Why? Because with the string what we have passed, it's in the uppercase. Now let me make it on uh, the low case and pass it, pass to it. Now obviously as expected doubt should be false and this happens. And that's what we saw here. It's a very simple uh, piece of code. What it is doing is we initialize a delegate of type bool and we are passing a parameter string. And in the logic, what in the method, what we are written, the logic is whatever the user enter the string, um, this method is going to check whether the entered string is in the uppercase or not and it's going to return the boolean value true or false. Now our objective is instead of creating the custom delegate like this every time delegate bool and the method name and the parameter what, what we are going to do let us make use of the predicate delegate okay as we learned in the definition predicate delegate methods must take one input parameter and it then returns a boolean value. So let us convert this method to a predicate delegate this program with help uh, in the predicate delegate form so what we'll do is let me erase all these things out and this too let me let us have only the logic the method which is going to be invoked with the delegate this is the method which is going to be invoked with the delegate as we saw this method is not doing that much of work it just it just checks the enter string is in the uppercase or not and it returns the boolean value if it is in the uppercase it will return true or if it is in the lowercase it, re it return false now what we do is let us make use of the predicate delegate predicate okay predicate is generic type delegate you can observe here and what is the input it takes one input parameter input parameter is of type string so string 
and let me create object of a predicate delegate I'll make it as is upper is equal to let me invoke the method uppercase okay now using that object let me invoke the method uppercase let me pass the value the value is hello it's the lower case now now since the predicate is going to invoke a method which is going to return the bool value so let me store this uh, object uh, uh, in some variable called bool uh, in the variable called uh, upper and its return type is bool okay and I did it now let me print this upper variable such that I can see the output on the console screen okay fine now let us run the program Control F5 yep it's uh, it has been pre it is printing false why because the enter string you can observe it's of a low case now let me make all upper and let me run this it will print true as expected yep and that's what the predicate delegate is as in the definition you can observe it is represents a, it is representing a method or invoking a method that contains a set of criteria and checks whether the past parameter meets those criteria or not that's what the delegate uh, delegate predicate delegate and it's and it's the greatest advantage of using a predicate delegate where we can make our code short and it's very simple and easy to understand also you can when you observe this code it's very simple and easy to understand and that's what the advantage of these uh, delegates what we learned in the last two sessions that uh, action func and predicate the very simple and easy to use that is that are the major advantages of the predicate delegate and, and at last thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below and don't forget to give the feedback thank you